Today we're watching Candace and Lily scenes from Astrid and Lily Save the World, season one, episode nine. All right, here we go. Can we talk somewhere else? Oh, come on. Oh. I thought we'd kiss and make up. Look, I would love to say it, but <laughs> we got some issues to work through. <laughs> when I thought you just weren't ready to tell people that you liked girls, yeah. it was fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Just not wanting to tell people you like me? Yeah. Well, I expected the person that I like to actually act like they like me back. Oh, oh God. But even I know I deserve better than that. Oh, damn. We need Juliet in rehearsal. We need to simmer in this for a little bit. Michelle. Oh man, it's, I hate this. I hate this so much because like Candace is in a shitty situation. Don't move your head. Don't do it. Oh, nah, nah. I'm not fucking with mannequins. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck off. Anyway, Candace is in a really shitty position. <laughs> she has got a shitty home situation, but also uh, she is embarrassed by Lily. I don't want to say that she is. I think she just is, 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 is afraid to come out because of her mum. Why are you looking at me weird? Yeah, Lily, what's- Yes. No. Yes. Really sorry. Astrid, you're not falling for this. What the fuck? Ugh! Astrid, who cares who she likes? Yes, be protective of her. But if she likes someone, at least try and embrace it. Christ. She needs to make it clear to Lily that she's not embarrassed to be with Lily. Wait, what did she say? There was a lot of blue there. They are going to have a big fat Australian wedding and live happily ever after. I'm very excited to see what they think Australian wedding is. My idea of an Australian wedding is like getting married at the pub and then having a schnitty afterwards, you know? Oh, that'd be the perfect wedding. Yeah. And I know why. Oh yeah? You do? She doesn't even seem scared. That split second where she thought her mum knew, it was like, she was ready, like, you know? <sighs> oh, fuck off. I don't like it. <laughs> I can't believe Astrid didn't realize it wasn't really me. Yeah. So my crush broke my heart. My best friend hates me. And now there's a monster who looks exactly like me running around trying to kill me. Awesome. There is a miscommunication going around that Candace is not clearing up yet, but she will, right? Miscommunication that Candace is ashamed of Lily. It's 100% miscommunication because it can't be real. The koala? That is not a koala. That is a drop bear. <sighs> Hello. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Lily. Candace, don't fall for it. You're right. I screwed up, okay? Yeah, you did. It's so hard being popular, you know? Everyone just expects you to act a certain way and- Who took the shrimp off the Barbie? Oh, fucking Christ. We don't even have shrimp. Yes. Talk later. Candace! I see if Candace and Astrid are falling for this. Get out of here. Don't. Kiss it. Is there something up with Lily? Yes, there is. Because the average human being blinks once every four seconds. She was blanking once every 12. That's very specific. Why are you looking at a wall? Are you staring at a wall? Whatever. As if you didn't question that! Hello? Hello? We're looking for a badass monster hunter who's 5'4 and did not deserve to get her heart broken. Yeah. That's not for me, is it? <laughs> it was about what I did. Yeah, you fucked up, mate. It was pretty shitty. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You also need to apologize to Candace. Hey, Lils. Oh. Uh, ah! It's fine, we're all good. I am a grown adult that does not get scared by mannequins. <laughs> so that was a fucking lie. Um, Wait, I, I never said I was going. Why would I do that? I think we were Tate here. Yeah, you still need to apologize to Candace. Shut, shut up, Tate. Tate. Yeah, shut up, Tate. Could we just talk somewhere else, please? Oh my God, no one cares except for you, Candace. Oh, I'm so oh, goddamn invisible that nobody even noticed that there were two of me walking around today. Wait, what? Break a leg tonight. Break both legs. Fuck you, mate. Yes. Ha! 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 I do bite my thumb, mate. Oi! <laughs> and all that time, I was never there for her. Yeah, but to be fair, Lily is still hurting. The only person truly cares about being there is you. Okay, he's making some good points. But I wanted like an actual apology, not like an apology and then excuses. Could the hell be in the whoop whoop? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Believe me, mate, it was the kookaburra. A kookaburra. <laughs> it's a kookaburra. The herald of the morn. Oh! My love as deep 
The more I give to thee, the more I have. For both are infinite. Not if I still have to be a secret. Oh, yeah. Hello, Lily. Oh, fuck <gasps> off. Oh, fuck off. I swear to God, I've sworn a lot in this episode. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck you, mate. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Fisher from near promised to Fisher. You gotta show up for her, though. Come on. Screw this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lily. Lily. I meant every word I said on stage. You're smart and kind and... Wildly a monster hunter <laughs> and gorgeous. Oh, yeah! And honestly, better than me in every way. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> but if there's any way you can give me another chance, I promise to show up for you. Yay! Always. Yay! Because I'm I'm crazy about you and I want everyone to know it. I know who the last doppel is. Oh, uh oh. -uh. The real Candace would never say those things. <laughs> Really you? Yeah, no shit, honey. Was Asha really gonna chop off my head? <laughs> yeah. First, kiss her. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. The Lee Fortenberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will you be my date to a dance? Yes. yes. <laughs> Are we gonna see the dance? Is that gonna be the finale? Candace and I. Are dating. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you need a ride home? Oh, my two baby gays have their lesbian moms. Oh, it's just too much. I love it. Uh, you ready to go? Astrid. Okay, look. Uh huh. I still don't like you. Okay. But. But if you make Lily happy. Yes. Oh. That's a start. And if you hurt her, I will chop your head off. <laughs> also fair. <laughs> Maybe we can double date with you and Sparrow? You gotta, you gotta save Sparrow first. Look, honestly, I think it's too late for you, buddy. Apologies, you did get in the van though. You, you never get in the van. Okay. We have one more episode of Ashton and Lily Save the World. I just, I want more Candace and Lily, you know? <laughs> I hope we get to see the prom next episode. I really hope we see it. Like, I hope we close off with it. I don't know. I just, I want to see Candace and Lily dancing. Oh. Look, I'm glad Candace apologized this episode with no excuses. A a acknowledged her downfall and is hoping to make it better moving forward. I I'm just happy. That was a really cute episode. I like that episode. <laughs> but then they had cringy Australian accents. I'm curious though, does my accent actually sound different to what they're saying to like Americans? Cause like as an Australian, their Australian accents is like, it like hurt my soul. But I don't know if you guys can actually tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my reaction. I hope you liked it. If you did, check out this video here. It's my reaction of the last episode. Or this one here. It is another video that uh, YouTube thinks that you'll like. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, <laughs> bye.